This is our goodbye morning in New York. I'm gonna have to say a lovely goodbye and a thank you a million times to our man Christopher. Many welcomes, have a great trip. Many welcomes, have a great trip, he says. Gentlemen, thank you so much you for having us, man. You so You're the best. Thank you so much for coming. Truth So what are you gonna do now that we've gone? Who else are you gonna take in? Anyone? You cheating on us? You better tell me. All right. You guys are the best. Hey. Oh. Awesome. We got New York hospitality in spades, and we appreciate it. Let's take him. Put him in the back. So driving into New York and driving out of New York, whatever these highways are that we're on, they are pretty much meant for cars, and they have really low roofs, and it's scary every time we drive through. Look at this. Oh my God. We've done that like 10 times. Some of them are 11 feet, some of them are 10 feet. Our RV is like 10 feet. So we haven't scraped yet, but there have definitely been some where we have to kind of merge into the middle lane to just get the little tip of the hump there. If anything happens, it'll be our fault because every time we go onto this highway, it says for cars, for passenger cars only. So far, we're good. Don't worry, as soon as we scrape, you will be the first to know. arrived in Boston. Boston. It's gray, it's wet, it's cold. I miss Florida. Tonight, uh, just lined up a witch hunt. A Salem witch tour, basically. Mm. All right. This is it. This is Boston. This is what it looks like. It's cold. It's really cold. It's colder than Vancouver. First things it's I've noticed. May uh, 5th, and it's like this? Yeah. 6th? You guys uh, want to find a sauna or something? That'd be a nice. Sauna, yeah. yeah. Shit. Nice hot tub somewhere. In Salem, we were in Boston earlier, but we went to Salem to hunt witches and drink soda. We're gonna do a weird soda taste challenge. Yeah. Justice. Um, so, Parker has purchased these sodas in Philadelphia, I believe. Yeah. Um, and they are weird flavors. We'll okay. get to that shortly, but we're gonna start with the super ginger ale. Super ginger ale? That's like it says hot right there. It sounds nice. It's, it smells um, a little bit. I really like ginger ale, so we're gonna right. this. Are we, are we using the shot glasses? I don't know. No, I just, think a shot glass is good because then you get a big spike. Smells like ginger ale. Well, it's not bad. It tastes like really good ginger ale. I had a feeling that the ginger ale, the spicy ginger ale, was going to be good, so I bought two. So we, we only have five, more about it? five different ones, one extra yeah. piece of ginger ale. Um, every time I drink it, I want more. Mm. Mm. All right, put it down. Move on to the next. Oh. Maybe. You want this one? Okay. It tastes, well, I just did. Um, did some mouthwash. <laughs> I'm gonna open the ranch. Yeah, let's do the ranch. Ooh, I think the ranch will be last. No way! Ranch is one that I don't expect to taste good, so. Get, but get. buffalo wings, you do, yeah. Probably. Maybe we should mix them together. After. After. Yeah. yeah it's just, Stop you know. smelling it. Put it back and tell it. No, hang on. Why would I stop smelling it? Smell is like part of taste. It it's is. like 50% of the entire experience. Exactly. Get it all in one. You're leading yourself up to it. Just take one and then boom, get hit with flavor. Get hit with the flavor. But then I'll miss out on the scent. Parker, you can film me drinking yeah. it if you like. Yeah, you're right. All right, whatever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's not awful, but it's not good either. There's yeah. enough sugar in it to make it taste okay, but it also tastes like sweet feet. Sweet <laughs> There's a specific flavor to it. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. <laughs> oh, it does taste like feet. <laughs> Part of it. Oh god, it's like weird cheese. I don't like it. No. <laughs> cheese, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yum. Cheesy it's feet. Cheese bad. feet. Cheesy Cheese sweet feet. feet. Yeah. <laughs> Buffalo wing soda. Been waiting a long time for this one. Not enough buffalo wing flavor. Yeah, I didn't get it. Is it not spicy enough? No, it's not anything enough. I would not call this buffalo. What would you call it? San Francisco. Stale styrofoam or something. 
I don't get it. All right, I all feel right. like we're uh, all excited for this one. This okay, is cool. the bacon. No. Le bacon. Le bacon. Have you smelled this one? It smells good. But yeah, it's just like the last one. <laughs> Not much there, to be honest. Man. Still getting feet. Still getting feet and lots of <laughs> grass. The grass soda. Mowed and bottled in the USA. It smells pleasant like a green apple. This is great, man. Is that freshly cut or what? It kind of tastes like feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is that is just a sort of nice green apple flavor. It's beautiful. Um, I think we should have a challenge and whoever loses has to chug the rest of this. Justice, I forgot to mention this to you, but you haven't really experienced it until you've had hot wings with ranch. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi, can you please do the honors? Yes. Uh, more, more hot wings than ranch, please. You know what? It actually tastes like a meal. It really does. <laughs> the, ranch is, the ranch is overpowering, but it kind of, does when it bounces bounce, out, it it bounce it out. I thought about eating chicken wings when I, when I was... Well, when why don't you give me a, an outro from what we've just had? Something for the fans to take from this whole experience. <clears throat> okay, what you should take from this whole experience is grass it tastes like green apple, and ginger ale is delicious. This one is by far the worst. But true to its name. These two are equally <laughs> bland and unpleasant. Anyways, we're in Salem. And we're gonna go on some kind of witch tour and we know not much about it. Justice organized it. I did. It's a surprise. You'll see soon. Just arrived into Salem. Are you, are you scared of this situation? I'm not, I'm not scared yet, but I do have my ghost shield on. Salem is where they, you know, burned a lot of witches. Yeah, you told me about that. So like, that, that's not that. really, I mean, it's pretty disturbing, but. I didn't know that. But then we got Dr. Vitka here. He looks like he's gonna take care of us. Uh, those glasses, that's, yeah. that's, that's his ghost shield. Well, he looks like he just stepped out of Burning Man, quite frankly. <laughs> If you aim towards that white stone obelisk, because you never know what's going to show up. Last summer, we had a private group from two ladies. They showed up drunk, they weren't paying attention, but they got a picture here that sobered them right up. Next to that obelisk, there was an apparition staring right back at them. The people who carved these stones were obsessed with it. They were the Puritans. Now, the Puritans were Christians, but not the type we think about today. These guys were religious fanatics. They were so crazy and uptight, they make the Westboro Baptist Church seem normal by comparison. <laughs> the life of the Puritans was tough. It was work, church, and hoping to die and go to heaven. And for them, the cemetery was almost a hopeful kind crazy, of place. Eh? You may have heard the name Giles Corey. If you had to watch The Crucible in school or watched any of the Salem media, you might have heard that Giles Corey was a brave, noble man. Somebody who stood up for what he believed in during the oppression of the witch trials. Well, the truth is, Giles Corey stood up for himself, but he was no hero. Giles Corey was an angry, miserable, mean old man. He was always fighting and feuding with people in court. Once, during an argument over land boundaries, they say Giles Corey got so mad he took his neighbor's cane and bludgeoned the man to death, crushing the man's skull with his own cane. That's what the neighbors said about Giles Corey. There's a lot of different theories about what caused the witch hysteria. Did y'all hear about the ergot poisoning idea? No. Nope. Ergot's fungus. It grows on old moldy rye bread, and if you eat it, you are going to hallucinate. There's a side effect called necrosis. It makes your fingers and toes and other extremities begin to rot and decay and fall off like leprosy. Nobody reported that happening during the witch trials, so I'm pretty sure these people were not suffering from ergot poisoning. That's not what was going on. People used the witch trials as an excuse to punish their neighbors and get back at their enemies and steal land. But that was more symptom of the time than the root cause of it. What started the witch hysteria was one woman, and it was a complete misunderstanding. Her name was Tichuba, a slave woman. Tichuba was practicing something very similar to voodoo years before that faith even had a name. Then the poor woman was sold again. She ended up in Salem, Massachusetts, property of Reverend Paris, a Puritan minister. Now, I think it's terrible the minister had slaves, but isn't it ironic she was practicing voodoo right under his nose? He had no idea. Uncanny. 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 
feeling about this. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for the tour, uh, well, Dr. Vitka. It's been fun, really cold, good history lessons. I think I'll we, be honest, I'm glad yeah. you came to Salem. We, you know, you, you hear about it a little bit in school or, or however you've heard about it, but you don't, I didn't know anything Most people know from it. that movie with Winona Ryder where she's all hot but sad. <laughs> 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 <laughs>